Hey, no, I'm just on the phone to my agent. Okay, look, you keep sending me to all these places. It's absolutely terrible. I'm not having this anymore. I can't go somewhere decent. Where are we going next week? Preston? I'm going to Preston. No, been, oh. We're live. <laughs> hey, up. <laughs> Join me for uh, another life video. Um, where are we this week? Well, despite the crystal clear water and the golden sands behind me, this is not Barbados. This is, in fact, BLA, CKP, double O-L, Blackpool's where we be. Indeed, we are in Red Rose country. We've come to Lancashire, me and my brother, and we're having a little mooch about, you know. It's a fantastic place. It's beautiful weather. It's a bit toasty, actually. I've got to put this up just to keep the sun off. It's not because it's bloody freezing or raining or anything like that. So, uh, yeah, join us as uh, we have a little mooch about, get up to all sorts, and uh, we'll let you know how things are. Give our fair and honest review. So, stay tuned. Just there was the iconic big one, tallest roller coaster in the UK, still standing, built in 1994, I believe. Uh, it's a piece of pitch, really. Me and my brother went on it yesterday, smashed it out two times. Um, yeah, I mean, if you want me to sum it up, it's a bit like a supermarket sweep. You feel like you're in a shopping trolley anytime, Dale Winter could come out and tell you what prize you've won today. But anyway, yeah, if you come to Blackpool, that's a must do, absolutely must do. Bucket list. <laughs> <laughs> Idiot. So yeah, we've decided to have a little uh, tour around the Blackpool Sea Life Centre and um, so far so good, you know, good family fun for uh, everybody. Uh, a little bit disappointed because I'm a massive fan of uh, Ray's and so far I haven't found one I've not seen a sight of one. But uh, I'm going to keep my eyes peeled and uh, I'll let you know how we get on. I uh, wonder if there's one over there. Let's, let's go and investigate. Yeah. <laughs> Just thought I'd mention a, uh, another thing, family friendly thing that you can do while you're in Blackpool. You can take a ride in uh, Katie Price's wedding car if you want. Unfortunately, me and my brother have not had the chance to go in one of these yet. Because if you do want to go in one of these, you've got to get up early to beat the bloody Asians. They put them up nice and sharpish. Yeah, it's probably because they're not used to seeing a horse that isn't uh, sautéed on them on their dinner plate. So, you know, but, you know, say to bear in mind if you're ever in Blackpool, there you go. Fraser's top tip. Good prices. The geezer's got smelly balls. Three pound. I'll do you a better deal than that, trust me. attraction here at Blackpool is of course Graffiti Golf and uh, you're not too bad at golf are you Oliver? Not bad. You know, uh, we had a game of uh, Graffiti Golf uh, last night didn't we? Might have. You play golf quite regularly you'd say you're half decent wouldn't you? I know how to hit a club. You know how to hit a club? Would you like to tell everybody how you got on last night at Graffiti Golf? Exactly, that's what I thought. The sign that says it all. 39, 37. Just saying.
Fraser. So, do you know how we're up north? That's it. You can see loads of beef curtains. Fuck, you have a bit of respect for yourself, woman. Oh, sorry. <laughs> you joined me at the end of another fantastic day here in Blackpool. Um, me and my brother have been up to all sorts. They just uh, ignore the wind and the rain. Some arsehole over there from Preston, blatantly from Preston, with a bloody wind machine. Jealousy, that's all that is. Either way, we've been up to all sorts. Like I say, we've been up the tower there. Absolutely lovely. Views, views for miles. We've been to Madame Two Swords. Uh, well, I didn't even see one sword, to be fair, but, you know, I'm not going to argue about false advertising or anything like that. No, that's their property. Uh, we've been to the sea life. I think of the starfish. And then, uh, on the way out of sea life, a bit strange, actually, there's a rogue beluga whale. He's, off, he's asking me to do all sorts to his blowhole in exchange for a keyring. It happened just around the back of that weather spoons there. I was, I'm not doing that, mate. No chance. But, uh, anyway, you know. Um, and then, obviously, one of the main attractions is... The illuminations here in Blackpool. I'm absolutely screwing this year, to be fair to you, because they always have a big ceremony for turning on the lights. And in 2017, they got Crick Hack Boosty opening the lights. So I mean, they ain't gonna top that. 2018, they've gone and topped it with Christopher Biggins. All right, this year, 2019, how'd you top Biggins? There's only one way you top Biggins, and that's Anthony Costa from Blue. Absolutely screwing out my nut, love, Miss that. What a musical legend. Anyway, no, well, we've been up to all sorts. We've had a fantastic time. The sun's been shining. Got a bit of a tan. And uh, yeah, at the end of the day, that's some type of trip to Blackpool. This has been Blackpool Live. Stay tuned.